Yeah, it's going. All right. Hello. So I've got my five string banjo here tuned like this. And this is misunderstood a lot in the idea of modal music in American old time music, traditional music, is misunderstood. This tuning is often referred to as the modal tuning, but there are plenty of modes that have a strong major third. So why would I want to get rid of my open string that has that important note in it and replace it with the fourth note of a major scale. And then this tuning is sometimes called the mountain minor tuning. Mountain minor. The mountain part I get. You hear this tuning in some mountain music. But the minor, uh-uh. Not, minor means means a, um, a small it's major third is it from one to three is a big gap minor it's a small gap same thing for any other interval minor seventh what is tuned low in this tuning nothing <laughs> And it's very, very suitable for melodies that have no major third or minor third. So if you were going to accompany such songs or tunes with a chord instrument like a guitar, you wouldn't be getting it quite right if you played a minor chord or a major chord behind it. I should also say that in real traditional music, there are neutral pitches. They're in between major and minor. And so just kind of see which the, whether the major or the minor chord fits or whether you just leave the third out. Um, for instance, all right, here's a old melody um, a song, Jack Monroe. this tuning sometimes for a melody that's in, in a major key, in, in G major. Uh, here's a tune I, I made up uh, for a student of mine. Her name is Gwen McGrath, and she has a um, very good grasp of, of the fingerboard. So uh, I made this tune for her. And yeah, it's got a major seventh and a, and a flat seventh, but it, it's got a major third and no minor third. And this, this C note became very, very useful.
get this tune to sound the way I wanted it, I wanted to have as many consecutive notes be on each on a different string as possible to give it a harp-like sound. So the next phrase, it's so handy to have the open C string. <laughs> find that you could play a tune up to speed easily, but you try to slow it down and your muscle memory gets amnesia. Yeah. find this tune playable tuned to an open G chord, but harder to play. So in this case, the alter tuning is not for creating a special sonic atmosphere, which is often the case, but actually to make the tune more playable. There's a nice variation in the middle of the second part. Let's see if I can recall. Yeah. finger. So anyway, there's Gwen McGrath, and here's the use of the so-called modal tuning for a major key melody. Then there's the idea of that, that um, this would be a good tuning for, oh, cluck old head. And then they, somebody says, well, look, you know. Well, yeah, except I never heard any authentic version of Cloak Old Hand that actually went like that. It was it, more like... I'd rather have it be down here. A lot of noise outside my window. Maybe people outside the window think there's noise <laughs> happening on this side of the window, namely the banjo. from Ralph Stanley. <coughs> Excuse me. I got drip today. Air is better in San Francisco today, but <coughs> something's irritating me. I hope it doesn't irritate you. Thanks for watching. <laughs>